Hi, how's it going? It's Jeff Saxton here, and I want to welcome you to uh, this video. I just want to talk to you a moment about uh, a new concept, and well, it's really not new, but we always need to reinvent it. So it's called BYOB. That's it. All right, you know what it means? Have a great day. Just kidding. I don't actually mean bring your own beer. Um, what do I mean? I'm talking about being, be your own boss. Be your own boss. Now you might think, well, that's kind of risky to be my own boss, isn't it, Jeff? Let me tell you my experience in the workplace. Now, I've worked at many places. I've been, I've been a sales manager twice. I've worked as a salesman uh, at three different places. Uh, I've worked at other, many other jobs. Uh, mostly I've done ministry and sales and internet marketing. Now, here's what I found is that by and large, your boss, unfortunately, he might be or she might be a great guy, but they work for a company. Okay, now that's the problem. Even if your boss is great, which if you've seen the movie, The Devil Loves Pr Wears Prada. <laughs> um, I've had a few good bosses, okay? And all the rest were kind of like that Meryl Streep character. And um, that, that, to me, that seemed like a uh, documentary. Now the problem is the company doesn't care about you, okay? So I know it's risky. I know it's risky to ask this of you to consider being your own boss, okay? Or building, build your online, I know you thought I'd say own, build your online business. Build your online biz. Isn't that risky, Jeff? So, sounds too risky. Sounds like a gamble to me. I think we're safer under the company, aren't we? Are, are, are you safer under the company? Well, that's what we're always told. I think it used to be that way. When, when there was loyalty, when company loyalty was intact. But this is 2016. I don't know about you. But what I've experienced is a lot, not, not widespread in every case, but in most cases, the company doesn't care about me, doesn't care about my money. And if I'm loyal to the company, the company doesn't have to be loyal back. And if I'm a year from my pension, the company, if they need to, will go ahead and just X me out one year from my pension. It sounds immoral, but again, there is no morality with the company because a company is not a person. The company doesn't care. The company always does whatever the company needs for the company only. Now we call that the safe way to live. I call that a risk. I call working for your company a risk. I call working for a boss in a company. Now, if you've got a good relationship with your boss, you're the exception, and I congratulations, and you probably should stay with your company. If you have a good company, great. But even though that might be the scenario, I don't know that a company can provide for all of your needs financially. Because here's something also I found out, is that it took me a few years to learn that nobody is going to care about my finances except me. Nobody else will care, could care less about your financial success except you. So if you don't make sure you cover yourself financially, you're in trouble. Okay, now the problem is when you work for the company, what happens, what happens, maybe, maybe you have a good company, maybe they reward people for doing well, but again, you're working with people in that company and all people are broken. They're uh, a mixture of good and evil <laughs> because they are human beings. 
And they may promote your success and they may try to um, betray your success. Twice on doing such a great job in my position that I made the company not only new income streams, but even created a new, uh, a new area of income for them because I did such a good job, they fired me. Did you hear what I said? Because I did such a good job, they fired me. You're asking, why would they do that? You did a great job. That's what I asked. You know why? It's because when I did a good job and I created new income streams in a new area, the company thought, wow, this must be a new area we need to look at. And they thought, well, we can either go with Jeff or we can go with somebody that we know nationally or regionally or maybe somebody's brother from the company or somebody that somebody else owes $200,000, whatever, find some other guy and we'll go ahead and put them over this because now this has come up to such a level that let's get someone who's an expert and I was demoted to serve that person. How would you like that? How would you like to be told, Jeff, since now you're under this person, um, you're not going to get the same income you got. Thanks though. Sorry, you know, we can't, we, our hands are off. It's not, we're not, it's not our fault. We got to do what's right for the company because, you know, the company is a machine and the company doesn't care, Jeff. I care, but this is for the company. That's happened to me more than once. Do I have a chip on my shoulder? Am I upset? Well, I'm kind of excited, but actually <laughs> I've, uh, I'm more than healed from those times. Actually, I'm kind of thankful for those times because I can relate to you because the more I get to know people out there the more I realize I'm not alone the more I realize this is so many people experience this and you think the more loyal you are to a company I mean I can think of a company that I actually um, took a cut in my pay to um, do some extra work and so I worked more hours than normal I took a cut in pay because the company was uh, in a difficult situation. And once I helped get them out of that situation and others, I wasn't the only one, okay? But I was certainly involved. Once they got up on their feet, do you think they honored their word with me? No. They don't have to honor their word. Well, Jeff, I know I said that, but you know the company. Well, Jeff, I know we promised you that, uh, that raise, you know, and you did this extra work, but uh, sorry, the company. So, this is what is safe, right? The company. If you ask me, my experience, my experience is this has been the most painful, disloyal, risky entity I've ever experienced. Dedicating myself to being loyal to a company that could care less about and will use me any chance it gets to benefit itself. Now, I know there are exceptions, and like I said, if you work for a good company that really is good, then, then great. But a company is made up of people. But when you get people together, you know, when you get a group that's in charge, guess who's in charge? Well, really, nobody's in charge, right? When, when a group of people are in charge, no one's in charge. When you're not dealing with one person, then in a company, people could decide all kinds of things and say to you privately, sorry, you know, if it was me, I would have, but, you know, the company. I'm not trying to bash the company. What I'm trying to encourage you to think about is a, a better idea. Could it possibly be a better idea to, you know, because like often what they say to do to be safe with the company is sometimes they'll have a 401k plan, right? Or stocks. And that's what you can take some of your uh, money that the company will give you and invest for your, your retirement. Now that can be good, except my dad took almost all of his retirement account, was put into stocks, and he hired a pretty well-known stock uh, company at the time that I won't, will not name, sorry. And I don't need to name it because you probably could go into Google and find it. And there's more than one. And what they do is they just go ahead and do daily trades on these stocks and see they make money on the trade and my dad lost all of his retirement. 
by the time we found out it was past the, um, you have a certain amount of time, and uh, we had passed that time, I think it was like three years, four years, and it was too late to try to do anything, try to get a lawyer to try to sue them, even though there are uh, class action suits uh, against companies like this, the truth is that happens a lot. And then you take 401k. Now what a lot of people don't know is they take a couple percent to pay them, the companies, I mean. And I'm not knocking mutual funds per se, but you need to look into mutual funds. You need to look into what, how much money you actually are giving away to someone else. You need to look in and make sure you have mutual fund companies that are watching out for you. And maybe some are. I found for me, a lot of them weren't. And a lot of my retirement money, even in a 401k, wasn't necessarily, necessarily so safe. And when I called to ask why, they said, but Jeff, you have to understand the company. We can't help it. It's the company. You know, we got to help the company. We have to serve the company. All right. Uh, you're probably laughing at me now. And I'm laughing too. It's very funny. So, but we tell everybody this is what is the safest way to live, right? Is um, when you grow up, son, you know, get a good job in a good field and work for that company. They'll promote you if you do. The harder you work, the more money they'll give you. They'll, they'll have your back. They'll never, they'll never screw with you financially. That's what we tell people. Maybe that's experience of other people, but it hasn't been mine. So after a while, I thought, you know, I'm not going to survive if I keep doing this. I need to do, I need to do something different. And I decided for me, for me, it was time for this. Time for me to be my boss, to care about my money because I have my children to consider. I have my wife to consider. I have my life to consider. I have other people to consider. I have my whole extended family to consider. And I'd rather, I'd rather benefit them than the company, if I had a choice. Do you think I really care about the company? Maybe I would if the company cared about people, but I don't think that's the way it works. Read the book Oliver Twist by Charles Dickens. That's kind of what the company, that's the heart of the company defined right there. You and I are just, we're just fuel for the fire. So, if you've been blessed by the company, by all means, stay. If you've had problems and you are in a financial struggles, I invite you to consider this. Now, I realize when you want to do something like this, it's risky. Because what are you asking me to do, Jeff? Some online marketing thing? Um, now, if you don't know anything about online marketing or internet marketing, you know, I'd, I'd encourage you to get a basic education, but... Again, I'm, I'm here to be able to help you, so I can take you from square one if you're interested. But you need to look at this, because even if you're a newbie, guess what? You ever heard of Amazon.com? Do you know Amazon.com is threatening, threatening to take away Walmart's business, and they're succeeding? I'm not against Walmart. I'm not against Kmart, Target per se, other than they are the company. But do you know what's going to happen in the next 10 years? Do you know the amount of online business, billions and billions of dollars, is going to increase in terms of sales, in terms of the way people buy things today, including you and I, we buy more and more stuff on Amazon, Shopify, Online stuff. We're, we're, we're going online more and more and more. The world is going online. And you're going to get left behind. And all you'll have if you don't learn how to think about and care about yourself and your money is the company caring about you. And I already told you what I think about that. So I encourage you to think of a new way. And with this new way online, there's ways that people purchase things. You can learn how people purchase. You can learn the tools that are used from the people and businesses that get people to purchase things from them, purchase things from them. There's a way Amazon does business that you can learn from. 
you could actually, if you wanted to, these day, with this day and age, with Shopify, for example, you could have your own online e-commerce company, making money for yourself and your family and your kids and not the company. So take a moment and consider, do you want to hear more? If not, go ahead and press the other button to turn this off to be sent back to wherever you came before you came to this site and keep working for the company. Otherwise, if you want to hear more, if you're interested in caring about your own money, if you're interested in actually the safest choice, click the button below and I'll give you the next, the next step.